All right, as week one has come to an end, we now look forward to week two, and my week one record was awesome. I went 13, 2, and 1. So uh, based off of that last video I made, I got all the games right except for, uh, well, like I said, 2 and then 1. That 1 being Detroit and Arizona, of course, they tied. So there's that. I should count that as just a win, but uh, whatever. So they tied. And then, like I said, I lost because I picked Chicago over Green Bay in the first game. And uh, the other game I lost was uh, San Francisco at Tampa Bay, believe it or not. Yeah, I really thought that uh, Jameis Winston, you know, back with um, Bruce Arians and all that, and I thought they could really, like, stun the world and, you know, shock everybody and show that uh, they could have something down the uh, down the road. But I guess not. I guess Jimmy G's back, so uh, yeehaw. All right, and um, anything else I'd like to note from my week one picks is uh, I was right on a lot of things. In that Baltimore and Miami game, I said that Baltimore would win 49-10. to The final was 59-10. to Are you kidding me? How close could it get? And uh, people were giving me crap for picking Tennessee over Cleveland. Well, hey, look what happened. I told you Cleveland was overhyped, and um, I saw it from the very beginning. So, um yeah, other than that, I had a great week one. So now, let's pick week two as the Bills travel back to MetLife Stadium to take on that other quote-unquote New York team, the New York Giants. Oh yeah, we got the Giants week two. And uh, just like how I picked week one and after seeing how the Giants performed against the Dallas Cowboys, it shouldn't shock a lot of people and a lot of people should be on this one as well. I'm picking the Bills over the Giants easy. And if the Giants can win, well, they must have put Daniel Jones in somehow. Well, we'll see. But Buffalo over the Giants. And then we got our Thursday night opener. It's going to be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the Carolina Panthers. I love you, Tampa, but this game is in Carolina, I believe, so I'm going to go with the Carolina Panthers. We got the Dallas Cowboys against the Washington Redskins after Dallas's performance, and Dak Prescott is getting that new contract soon. Damn right I'm picking the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Washington, you disappointed me, really. I mean, I thought they won that game against the Eagles, but oh no. Shit hit the fan. Alright, next up we got Indianapolis Colts against the Tennessee Titans. Um, man, I mean, tennis, or Indianapolis went into overtime against the Chargers, and they came, they came back. I was impressed. But, um, then again, Tennessee just beat Cleveland, and Cleveland could be just Cleveland, but, um, in this case, I think Tennessee can get it done again, so I'm gonna go with the Titans over the Colts. We got the Seahawks at the Steelers, and um, another close game was the Seahawks against the Bengals in Week 1. They only won by a point, just like uh, how the Bills did against the Jets, but hey, the Bills came back. They came back from 16 unanswered points. That was impressive. So 21-20 to was the final between the Seahawks and the Bengals. Um, this is at Pittsburgh, so this will be Pittsburgh's home opener. Um, I don't know if they can find the rhythm. This, this is going to be my surprise pick. I'm going to pick the Seahawks over the Steelers. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, there's my surprise pick. Hey, it worked last week when I picked Tennessee over Cleveland. I'm going Seattle over Pittsburgh this time. Next up, we got New England at Miami. Um, man, I mean, really, do you have to pick? I'm going to go with New England, and I'm going to say the final for that game is going to be 38-13. to 13. Jacksonville versus Houston. I'm going to go with Houston, um, although... Nick Foles, uh, I'm pretty sure, is done with the season after he uh, injured his collarbone or his uh, opposite throwing uh, shoulder, one or the other. I forgot what it was. But um, I think it's his uh, cavicle he hurt. But, um, yeah, unless Gardner Minshew, who's the uh, backup for Jacksonville, plays as decent as he did when the uh, when Foles got injured, maybe they'll have a shot. But I'm going to go with the Texans just because how they played last night against the Saints which was probably one of the best Monday night openers that you could have seen in a long time. The uh, Texans, I have this one over the Jaguars. Minnesota at Green Bay. Um, it's Green Bay's home opener, and the Vikings did look good against the Falcons, but then I was reading uh, those Atlanta fans out there were blaming Matt Ryan for a lot of things. So it could have been just, you know, he wasn't clicking with the offense. So I'm going to go with the Green Bay Packers over the Vikings. We got the Chargers at the Detroit Lions. I'm going to go with the Chargers. Over the Lions, I think Phillip Rivers uh, can compete pretty good in that uh, AFC West and see how they roll. Um, the 49ers against the Bengals, I'm going to go with the 49ers. The Arizona Cardinals against the Baltimore Ravens, oh man, I'm sorry Kyler Murray. But after Lamar Jackson's performance, five touchdowns, damn near perfect. 
I'm going to go with the Ravens over the Cardinals. we got the Chiefs at the Raiders. This should be a good game. Um, the Raiders just beat the Broncos last night. Um, I was actually surprised. I didn't think Oakland would uh, show up because, you know, I thought losing A.B. would be, um, by the way, screw A.B. Um, I thought, you know, without them they wouldn't have any receivers, but they, I guess they did. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go with the Chargers over the, or not the Chargers, the, um, oh, actually, hold on a second. It is the Chiefs. Hmm. All right, you know what? I'm going to go with Oakland. I am going to stay with Oakland. I'm going to pick the Raiders over the Chiefs. Yeah, oh yeah. All right, then we got the New Orleans Saints versus the Los Angeles Rams. Let me make sure I got that right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Los Angeles Rams against the New Orleans Saints, the infamous um, divisional round rematch that everybody's going to be looking forward to. It is in Los Angeles, but I'm going to go and say the Saints get their revenge on the Rams, like how it should have been. The Saints should have won that divisional round last year and should have went to the Super Bowl, not the Rams. So the Saints are going to beat the Rams in this one. Uh, we got the Chicago Bears versus the Denver Broncos. Um, I'm going to say Chicago wakes up. I say Chicago over Denver. We got the Philadelphia Eagles at the Atlanta Falcons. I'm going to go with the Philadelphia Eagles. And then finally, the uh, Monday night game is going to be the Cleveland Browns at the New York Jets. Both both, both of those teams right there um, who went 0-1, and everyone was also hyped about them going into week one. Oh, Le'Veon Bell's back. Oh, OBJ and Jarvis Landry and Baker Mayfield. Oh, my. It's the Browns. They're revamped. And then the Jets... Yeah, all the Jets have is Le'Veon Bell. Um, I will say C.J. Mosley was also a pain in the ass until he pulled his groin um, sometime in the second half. And, you know, I, I say if he's playing, then uh, I watch out for the Jets. But, um, you know, that being said, I don't, it must have been Baker Mayfield because didn't he throw three interceptions in the third or fourth quarter, one or the other? Um, the Jets did play great against the Bills. It's just um, they just they weren't good enough. Their defense blew it, and uh, somehow our offense was able to get past them. So I'm going to go with the Jets over the Browns, and uh, that's going to be it for uh, my Week 2 predictions. Let's see if I can keep my uh, luck rolling after going, what did I say, 13-2-1 for Week 1. Let's see what happens Week 2. You guys know, uh, or let me know in the comments below what you guys think, who you have for the upsets and picks of the week. And uh, go Bills. Let's uh, slaughter the final New York team. Well, they're not even a New York team. They're a New Jersey team.